There's a major spike in coronavirus cases being seen right now amongst the most vulnerable in America. After steadily declining earlier in the summer, infections in nursing homes and long-term care facilities are rising once again. That's according to a new report from the American Health Care Association and the National Center for Assisted Living. Take a look at this graph we're going to show you on your screen. The numbers, you can see, the numbers of cases have surged to more than 8,000 by mid-July, adding over 3,000 new infections in just four weeks. But this comes, why it's so troubling is this comes after a significant period of decline that was happening in June, cases dipping to around 5,400 then. Joining me right now is Mark Parkinson. He's president and CEO of the American Healthcare Association, one of the organizations behind this report. Uh, Mark, thank you for being here. What is driving this spike? Well, Kate, it's incredibly frustrating because, as you know, we had made tremendous progress in reducing the number of cases in long-term care facilities from the highs in March and April. We cut the number of cases per week in almost half, and we cut the death rate over 70 percent. Unfortunately, when June started and, and states started opening up and uh, pe people were not socially distancing, and particularly in the South, the number of cases in those communities and states increased, and there was a corresponding increase in skilled nursing facilities. What we've learned is that if we have got to keep the number of cases in the community low in order to keep the number of cases in long-term care facilities low. And what I'm also hearing is there's still a shortage of protective gear in these facilities. And I have to tell you, that is almost, almost as discouraging and frustrating because when we first started talking in March, you told me that this was a big problem of a shortage of protective equipment for healthcare workers in these facilities. How is this still a problem today? Is no one listening? Well, unfortunately, as the number of cases in the South has spiked upward, the demand in those states for PPE and for testing has increased among the general population. And what that's done is it's made it harder for the long-term care facilities to get the N95 mask that they need, and it's also made it really hard to get prompt testing results. In over 60 percent of the facilities today, you can test a resident or a staff member, but you don't get the results back for three or four days, and in 25 percent of the cases, you don't get it back for over five days. What we really need to happen is we need the case rates in the, in the states that have had the spike to drop down so that we can get the testing and get the equipment that we need in long-term care facilities. I'm afraid to even ask this, but without quick, quick and significant action here, what is going to happen? Who needs to, who needs to be held accountable? Who needs to be held to account? Who are you speaking to most with, it, about, with this? There's two things that need to happen right away. First is, as citizens, let's solve this. If everybody watching would wear a mask and encourage their friends and family to wear a mask and socially distance, we know that we would dramatically reduce these rates. When people are making the conscious decision to not wear a mask, they are making a decision that is killing old people in nursing homes. And we need to take responsibility and change that. And then secondly, we need our public officials to, again, refocus their efforts on long-term care facilities. Every governor needs to make a priority, particularly in these states with exploding number of cases, to make sure that every long-term care facility has the N95 mask and the testing that they need. It's the only way that we can bring these case counts down. Have leaders, has the country, in your view, I don't know, turned a blind eye and a deaf ear to what is a five-alarm fire that has been ravaging nursing homes and hitting our most vulnerable really since the beginning? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a really sad commentary on our values. And when, when you look back and see what happened in long-term care facilities, not just in the United States but across the, the globe, it's really been despicable. Our values have not been to prioritize our elderly. In fact, if you look at most states, in most states, prisoners were tested before the residents of long-term care facilities. We just made some major policy mistakes that we need to make sure never happen again. And, and they can't speak up from themselves often, which is the worst part about this. You do, though, Mark. Thank you for coming on again. You bet.